today I'm going to focus on a very simple but a very important aspect of systematic reviews. And this is something that will help you to frame your research questions. Title for today is Analyze Research Questions from Existing SLRs. So over the last two days, what we have done is we have looked at what are the existing SLRs or for that matter, maybe even systematic literature reviews in your field. You have studied them. You have identified what was their main contribution and also identified how did they uh, how they progressed with their SLR. What was their main contribution? So today I want to discuss the research questions that these SLRs have identified and looking at these research questions is an important step because it is going to tell us what they have studied, what was their research question and how they addressed that question in their in their paper. I have looked at the write up for all of you on whatever you have written. Uh, some of you have done a very good job. And I was really impressed by the effort and effort that you have put in to writing and also the flow with which the writing has happened. Many of you have used the templates that we designed or even you identified yourself from reading your SLR papers. And it was good to see how these different templates or sentence structures you have used to formulate your prior research section of the introduction. So it's a very good, very good outcome that I have seen. And I think if you continue at this pace, you will realize that you can finish your, a good, good paper in the next few weeks. So having said that, you should have written 400 words by now. I have seen a lot of you have written quite a lot than 400, but I have given my best time to kind of read through all of it even though it was more than 400, but I, I enjoyed what you have written. And I'm also, uh, I'm also enjoying the way in which I can learn a lot about your research areas. Some of them are completely different to what I do, but I can, if I can understand what you're writing, I guess your readers and the reviewers for your paper would also understand that. Many a times you will see I have made small comments within, within your documents. And this is where, when I was reading through it, I realized that, oh, I think something is missing here. You should write something. And I have left some small comments such as like what, or for example, or maybe explain a little bit more or give some of the concepts that you are referring to in that sentence. So it just makes, it just feels, the sentence just feels complete and more useful that way. So I hope you take that on board and revise the sentences accordingly. Okay, so that was the feedback. Yeah, so continue, keep continuing uh, on your writing exercise. Uh, some of you need to catch up, so better uh, start doing that now. Otherwise, you will you will be you will get late. So try to get to that target today. So from the introduction section, we have completed the prior SLR studies. We are now moving on to the next part, which is research questions. And today I'm going to show you some examples of research questions that I have picked up from SLR papers that are related to what you have been doing based upon your research areas. I have not covered all of them because that will be too many, but I have selected a few. All right, let's just look at this first paper. This is on graduate, the title of the paper you can see at the bottom, graduate employability and communication competence. Are undergraduates taught relevant skills? A paper in 2000, from 2016. Uh, so this paper, if you read here, it says, to what extent do first year compulsory communication courses cover the soft skills and communication competencies required by employers? So it's a very focused question and a single question. So just one question for the whole SLR. So some of you asked me on the community, how many questions should I have in my SLR? It could be one. It could be more than one, but it can, it can be one as well. And a lot of uh, research in the medicine or medical field especially looks for one, one research question for your SLR. So in this question, the focus is on what? Yeah, to what extent do first year compulsory communication courses cover soft skills? Answering the what is the main objective of this, of this SLR paper. You could think about adding some other questions to it. So instead of what, you can say how. How does first year communication courses cover soft skills or how do they improve students capability in gathering these soft skills. Reading the SLR questions posed in other SLR papers 
gives you an idea of some things that you can offer a research question that you can answer for your paper. Okay, let's move on to the second one. 